Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Jesse Nadina Kaufman here for Radical Connections TV or Singles to Married, whichever one you're watching right now. Relationships in general, but definitely singles that want to get married, especially, especially singles with no prospects. Yes. So today's topic is become friends before you go on a date with that person. And the reason why we want to talk about it, we've noticed a lot of singles get so excited when a guy or a girl start messaging them and want to know a little bit more about them. Well, cultural thing is, right, for a lot of people that, oh, they're they're interested in me. Wow, I need to, ha. Huh. He but, messaged me. I think we're in, we're going to get engaged. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're like in a relationship now, right? We're messaging back and forth now. So, you know, and that because of that, we want to talk about this topic. And by the way, if you're just messaging with somebody of the opposite gender and you're interested, that's not a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's be very clear about that. We're going to talk about what is a meaningful relationship. Yeah. What you're at, the stage you're at, is just literally just communication and friendship building. It's not a yeah. it's not a dating relationship. So I think a lot of um, people nowadays kind of got away from understanding of how to build a friendship and a relationship without expectation and without intimate interest so because of that we have those confusions why because we haven't been taught that this is not just going to be a romantic relationship if someone is messaging you okay and so we wanted to bring you an, an interesting kind of turn here it may be different from what you heard before so if you think about the old days, back in the days, 1800s, earlier, and even now in the present time, in India, my man would come into the woman's house to spend time with her in the presence of her family and Come to friends. think of it, that's actually how I did it. If I was See? interested in a girl and, and it was with you know within the community... Yeah. I'll just start spending time with their family and get to know them as a family. Exactly. And you'll learn a lot more about what that girl or guy. Yeah. If if the relationship is appropriate to do that. Right. It's easier for guys, <laughs> maybe. But yeah. You'll learn a lot about a person just by hanging out with them in a family setting. Right. So that was a norm. And it is a norm right now in India to actually ask questions, get to know this person. And then when they found that, oh, looks like our mission and vision is in aligning. Asking questions on, we teach on Feldspar, which are eight different topics you want to talk about with someone that you're getting to know. And so now right. that we mentioned Feldspar, we'll explain it. It's an acronym yeah. that stands for eight different categories, like Ian mentioned. It's uh, financial, emotional, leadership, dreams, and mind. Mm -hmm. And then uh, spiritual, physical, adventure, and relationships. And the last four letters, the SPAR, are the ones you want to focus on uh, in first. The, uh, first. Mm -hmm. The and first stages of getting to know. Find out what each other's goals and dreams are in those areas. Yeah, You'll discover a lot about the person in that mm -hmm. way as well. So, and of course, going into a little bit more of personal things on top of that is we teach FORM, which is... Which is another acronym that stands for uh, Family, Occupation, Recreation, and then MESSAGE, which is finding their sign, mm -hmm. which is another acronym. As you're forming a person, asking them about their family, uh, family rec op occupation and recreation, you look for their sign, which is the strengths, interests, goals, and needs. And then you know how to bless them, how to affirm them, how to encourage them, and yeah. how to come alongside them. So yeah, I we just fire hose you right there. We did. So if you need to go back and pause it and write it down, because those things are actually fundamental for connection and building relationships. And those are those three acronyms are uh, are very very important to do exactly what you just shared mm -hmm. as far as uh, building friendship before you ever go out on a date because you can dis discern 
through these uh, talking about these topics yeah. if, if it's going to be a good match yeah before you ever go out with a person and so you never there's no breakup because you were never in a relationship yeah You're and just it, getting to know the person and it doesn't get messy no messiness so that's something that we did personally with each other and it worked so well and we seen a lot of different singles done the same thing and it worked for them so let's look at it from a, a different way you know we i talk for women and then you're going to cover the man right so again back in the days i like to have the bring this example women carried handkerchiefs and they would drop their handkerchief to let the man know that they're interested in them. And the man would pick it up to go and pursue a woman to give it to her or return it to her. So that's um, just to, it's a quick kind of detour from what we were talking about, but I thought it was good to bring it up because for women nowadays, you know, sometimes like, oh yeah, I don't wanna pursue a man. Or what is he going to think if I'm going to message him first? You know, if it's on social media, make a comment on their post. Uh, and what kind of a comment? Well, a compliment. A compliment. Or you like this post An or something, affirmation. affirmation. You saw something there that really piqued your attention. Don't do it fakely, okay? Do it sincerely. And when you comment you give him space to return that handkerchief to you okay and so there's lots of variations of modern modern day variations of that handkerchief concept yeah. that a girl can use to let a guy know that she's willing to be pursued yeah but then she lets the guy decide whether to pursue or not yeah and no expectations if he doesn't hey Mm -hmm. you know don't get hung up on it he, he decided not to pursue you can either keep dropping hints but if you do so, make sure you don't get emotionally attached, yes. latched onto one guy. And that's mm -hmm. the biggest trap that I see that a lot of women get into mm -hmm. is, and, and men too, for that matter, they zero in on that one person that they want mm -hmm. and they become so emotionally involved with that person in their, in the fantasy and within their head mm -hmm. that when the person then decides to go with another person, mm -hmm. they're devastated. Mm -hmm. because, because they were literally in an emotional relationship in, in the fantasy, in their own little fantasy world. Well, yeah. the best way to address that is with a conscious act of your will yeah. to decide yeah. to spread your emotions out by stay, build, be building friendships with multiple people. Yes. Not dating. Not dating. Building friendships. Building friendships with many people and this is not dating. This is literally just saying, hi, nice to meet you. How are you doing? You know, and, and just being surface level friendly and kind and honoring. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very important topic for us because we see a lot of men and women get into the trap of starting to date. They become emotionally attached to each other. And later on, when they start looking into these important things we mentioned before, and they see, oh, you know what? It actually is not a match. And then they feel bad that, oh, no, like, but I'm already, I love this person. I want to be with them and I can't leave right now. So this will help you to eliminate that. And it will take the act of your will and a discipline to not get emotionally attached to this person very quickly. So decide ahead of time that you're going to protect yourself from getting emotionally involved with a person before it's time mm -hmm. by building friendships with multiple people. Now, yes. some of our more conservative listeners might push back on this. Well, I was raised, born and raised, old older homage. And so mm -hmm. I, I understand that perspective mm -hmm. and it comes from the background of no trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <laughs> I don't want to go in that, that topic because that's a whole nother video, but there is the thing of like, come on, really? You know, 
building friendship is the most honorable thing you can do to yeah. be a friend to everyone you meet yes to give compliments freely there's no expectations mm -hmm. uh, who doesn't want to uh, appreciate a compliment it doesn't yeah. matter who it's from if it's yeah. genuine really yeah. and to, to express interest in somebody's uh, you know family and what they do for occupation mm -hmm. what, what are their dreams and their passions you know that's everyone likes to talk about themselves and when you give people an opportunity to talk about themselves they feel honored they feel loved they feel appreciated mm -hmm. and valued Mm -hmm. It's not dating. It's just being human. Yeah. And so a lot of the conservative backgrounds, uh, you know, there's this heavy teaching to the the the, the guys and the girls never intermix. Mm -hmm. Like that would be impure. Like, but it comes from a deep distrust. Yeah. Of just basic human morality, and and knowing that well, like having a conversation with a girl, it doesn't mean that you're gonna go have sex with her. Yeah. It's no, it's it's getting to know a person. How else are you going to get married? Yeah. And if you put the pressure all on one person, or you have to have it all figured out and know before you go out and ask her out if you're a guy, mm -hmm. that's so much pressure that you're probably not going to do anything because, like, oh, I don't want to make the wrong decision. This guy got to be sure I'm moving in the right direction. Got to the will of God and God's timing. Next thing you know, you're 30, 40 years old and you're still single. Yes. That's the result of that thinking. So we have to break that. Mm -hmm. Start practicing making friends with the opposite gender. Yeah. No expectations and do it with as many as you can. So yes. that you stay, and that will protect you from getting emotionally involved. Yes. And protect you from getting into that thing that, a lot of uh, Christians, you know, warn uh, is the thing that happens mm -hmm. when uh, guys and gals intermix too much. Well, that won't happen if you're if you're not getting emotionally involved with a one Just person. Just one person, yeah. And trust me, you won't be able to get to per, per, uh, pursue or date a, a dozen or more people of the opposite gender but you can have dozens of friends of the opposite gender yes yes and by and by one of those will rise to the top as like the one that's extra special yeah your mission and your vision align mm -hmm. and you discovered through discussing your felt spark dreams and goals that mm -hmm. ooh, you too wow we have the same interests here and mm -hmm. and as you're you know forming each other and finding each other's sign you're like wow we have a lot in common yeah. and we're on the same page on a lot of things. And guess what? You did all of that while just being friends. Yes. And next thing you know, you can. And we did this. This is actually how we did. We did that to the extent where we pretty much did that right up to the point of suddenly I just proposed. Yeah. You know. Yeah. With only one in-person meetup. Yeah. Before that. We did long distance. So we kind of getting to know we each other. knew that we were a good match and we were both interested in each other without ever actually having the official American style date as we know it. Yeah. Um, so and so, you know, these tools are so powerful. They're foundational tools, basic tools for a relationship, for friendship, and of course, then for marriage too. So it doesn't stop there. When you get to know someone in the, such a level that you become best friends, that's the person you want to be with. And guess what? The, the lady friends that I made in the past, mm -hmm. they too are now married. Yeah. Now we're friends as couples and we go out on double dates. Yeah. So that's the beauty of that process later on down the road. Yeah. And this process also helps you to not go towards divorce because you chose well you created this beautiful friendship and friendship is much safer than going on a date creating a relationship on surfacey things and then when you get married then you find out you don't even know each other you don't know how to even communicate how address very important topics that felt spar topics we talked about and how to go down the the lane of triggers and processing those things and what are they oh my gosh how how dare you or what to do we don't know so all of those things can be avoided because you prepared and took time to do things the good and safe way yeah and to the men and to the to the single guys that are listening to this especially if you're one of the guys in our single to married uh, private group mm-hmm 
when you reach out to a girl or a lady to practice and implement your communication mm -hmm. and practice your communication so as to become more skillful, yeah. you implementing the process that we just laid out. Mm -hmm. If you're in our single to married uh, group, you you pretty much the ladies that are in there and they they understand the process mm -hmm. so no sweat but if you're out and about and you want to get really serious about practicing overcoming your fears and inhibitions on talking to a lady mm -hmm. it's not it's not a uh, bad thing to just let her know like listen you know what i i need to grow in my communication i i just need a woman to practice talking with and building friendship with no expectations mm -hmm. i would just like to get to know you for another person i want to honor you and get to know you in that way there's no yeah. pressure no expectations i need to practice talking with women would you be willing to help me yeah how many women would be able, willing to do that if a guy was sincere probably a lot yeah but you know again she might think that you are you know after her and wanted to date her and so no the message saying that with no expectations you might even want to add oh yeah i've i'm learning this new technique in the, how to be friends maybe you can use that mm -hmm. you know but uh you need to come with a pure heart yeah it, it, women can sniff out expectations yeah like so a, like a dog on a tree <laughs> and a man can too you know a woman is very good at alluring and getting guy into a relationship so i would mention for for both genders mm -hmm. if you're serious about practicing the techniques that we taught mm -hmm. is to practice with somebody that you wouldn't dream of marrying even if you're both stranded on an island for the rest of your lives yeah well that's an extreme example but i'm making a point yeah that's where you're truly forced to practice without expectations and you carry that same energy in once you develop the process with in with no expectations where mm -hmm. you're forced to have no expectations it'll be easier to carry that no expectations energy into the communication where he actually has some secret hopes and dreams mm -hmm. you know i was just thinking that we dropped a lot of information on you today and some of you have no idea how to create your mission vision or discover it and um, how to, what questions to ask in the feldspar area or forming. If you want those tools, knock on our comments below. Let us know. We have them available. We can invite you either to our group or you can ask us for certain things we can send to you. Maybe get on the call with you and see what is the need. And we'll share with you. We are here to help you and make this world better with marriages, beautiful, successful marriages, so you can have children, you can fill, fulfill your mission. That's right. For God's glory. Amen. All right, guys. We love you. Be blessed. Till next time.